G'day, Wombat here, and in today's quick review, we're going to take a look at the Pacifica PAC611 from Yamaha. Pacifica PAC611 VFM. Um, for some reason, Japanese guitar manufacturers seem to like to give lots and lots of letters and numbers to the names of their guitars. This is a really unusual guitar. That's why I grabbed it for a review, because you don't come across too many guitars that have a humbucker in the bridge and a P90 style pickup in the neck. You don't see them too often, but this one really stood out. So, let's have a quick look at it, shall we? It is a older body, really nice piece of older as well, with a flame maple veneer on the top that looks really especially nice. Um, a beautiful uh, tobacco burst on this particular model. It does come in other colours, um, but that is really quite a stunning uh, paint job. That they've given it that just looks amazing nice tortoiseshell pick guard um, a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard rosewood of course becoming a little more less common in today's guitars as it's all being phased out um, a uh, Seymour Duncan pickups in this particular guitar we have a custom 5 humbucker in the bridge and an SP90 uh, pick up in the neck. Now that's what drew my attention. It's really something a little bit different, which I thought it would be quite interesting to have a look at. Electronically, um, it's fairly standard. Three-way selector switch um, and a coil tap for the neck humbucker. So it, it's a really, really versatile guitar. I threw just about everything I could think of at this, and it, it excelled in most of it. Um, the humbucker in the neck is really particularly nice. It's very sweet. Um, it, it, it sings quite nicely. It's not overwound, so it's not a particularly hot um, pickup, but it played really, really lovely. Sounded great. Uh, took to distortion really, really nicely. The neck um, pickup, I like... P90s. I like P90s because there's a little more poke to them um, and sometimes a little less refined sound comes out of them compared to a regular single coil pickup. Um, this particular one though really sung quite nicely. It was very, I don't want to say uh, reserved, but it behaved itself the way that I wanted it to and never really got over the top. It was really, really nice for doing blues um, some rock leads, that sort of stuff worked really nicely on this pickup. And the two pickups together was really, really nice as well. Um, the coil tap gives you a lot of versatility with this guitar. It plays like a dream and it really took to rock, blues, uh, clean playing, all of that sort of stuff really, really nicely. Very well finished neck. It really played nicely. I could not complain. It's a bit of a C profile. Um, but look at the stunning tint, the vintage tint they've given to the neck there. That is just gorgeous color. Really lovely. Now there's something very interesting about the tuners. The tuners themselves are Grovers. They are Grover locking tuners. Now you might notice, for those of you who are used to locking tuners, there's normally a a dial on the back here that for you to lock the tuner down with and as you can see they're not there but I can tell you they are locking tuners they are unusual in the respect that they are automatic locking tuners so you thread them a little bit differently setting them up initially um, takes a little bit of getting used to um, it does come with on the tag here it's got the instructions for how to do that it's not that hard um, and they are really really stable 
The beauty of having a locking tuner on a guitar like this is the bridge on this puppy is uh, the Wilkinson VS50 uh, Tremolo bridge. I don't have the arm in it at the moment. Um, but the, the locking tuners help that with tuning stability. And it didn't let me down. It, it played wonderfully well, stayed in tune. The tuners uh, were fantastic to use. They're really, really quality uh, tuners there. Uh, black tusk nut as well, self-lubricating, which is uh, a handy thing to have on a guitar like this. Binding isn't as much of an issue with a guitar like this with the, uh, the straight string pull as it might be on something like a Les Paul, but you don't want to leave any of that to chance. All right. So recommended retail price on these guys is around the $900 mark. And I want to give a good shout out to my friends at Variety Music because they're the ones that have been providing me with some of these guitars and, and this one in particular they have provided me with. I'll put a link to this guitar in the comments below so you can go and have a look at it on their website because although prices do change they are currently doing a really really good deal on this guy so you might want to go and have a look at it. Really versatile guitar, plays beautifully, looks amazing and it is something that I would dearly love in my collection, that's for sure. Um, plays just fantastically. I couldn't have been uh, couldn't have been more happy with this guitar. I really didn't want to put it down. So there you are. So there's our quick review for the day. The Yamaha Pacifica PAC 611 VFM in uh, a lovely stunning tobacco burst. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep rocking, guys.